Hi, this is Bill. Today I want to talk to you about how to go about using the filter feature inside of Google Spreadsheets. So what the filter feature will do is it will allow you to just see specific information in a specific column. Okay, and this can be really useful for you as you go in and try to sort information because in this set of data, for instance, there's a number of different rows and a number of different records in here and everything that is in yellow still needs action taken. And basically that action is to fill out a form. So if I were the principal of a specific school, it would take me a long time to go through and find my school in here and see which ones I still need to take action on. Well, you can do a sort and just that will just sort it in alphabetical order and then you can go and find your school in that list. But you can also use the filter feature to make that a little bit easier and really just focus in on your school. So what I'm going to do is this is this is my list of data. And like I said, there's a lot of pieces of information in here. But up here in the toolbar, there is a filter icon. It looks like a little funnel. And when I click on that filter icon, what it's going to do is it's going to put little drop down menus at the top of each one of the columns. Now in this case, I'm under the homeschool column. What I can do is I can click on that button and if I click clear, it's going to allow me to choose just one very specific school. So let's suppose that I just wanted to do Mason Ridge. Click on that, click OK. It's going to take out everything that is not Mason Ridge and put it into this column. Okay. When I'm done, I want to be sure to go back because this is a shared document. I want to be sure to go back and turn that filter off. Now at the same time, clicking on that again, I could go and I could do maybe instead of Mason Ridge, maybe I wanted to see Barrett's and Bell Reeve and Carmen Trails. Clicking OK. Now I only have Carmen Trails, Bell Reeve and Barrett's in here. This makes it a whole lot easier for me to manage that information. Now I can do this on any column, but again, what you want to be sure that you do is turn off the filter when you're done so that it goes back and that everybody can see everything that's there. So that's one really easy way to use filters to narrow down the data when you have multiple records like this spreadsheet does. So as I look at this, what I can do is I can go in, let me give you an example, and I'm going to change this get rid of everything and just do central high. Now with central high, I can see, okay, so central high, I am the homeschool principal. I need to take action on all of these kids, which means I need to go back in this case, I need to go back to my email and find out how to, and, and find that email that tells me the information for these kids. So I hope that helps. This filter feature is a really nice feature to use inside of a Google spreadsheet in order to really narrow down and only see the data that you want to see.